welcome back let's now look at the different exercises that we would want to do with the for loop we would want to create a class called my number and we would want to pass in a number to it so we are creating a class called number and we are creating a constructor to pass the number to it after that we would want to create a method in the number class this would be a member method which would check if the number which is present in here is a prime number so number dot is prime you would want it to return if it's a prime number or not is the number prime or not what is a prime number a prime number is something which is not divisible by any number except one and itself let's assume that the input which is passed in is greater than one so given a number greater than one we would want to find out if the number is prime for example five is a prime number because the only numbers which can divide it are one and five it is not divisible by two three and four same is the case with seven eleven for six it's not prime because it's divisible by two and three so that's the first problem is the number prime the second problem is we would want to find the sum up to n so given nine i would want to find the sum of all numbers up to nine so i would want to do one plus two plus three plus four up to nine so if the input is six then this is what i would want to calculate this is called sum of numbers up to n the next thing i would want to do is find the sum of divisors so what i would want to find out is given a number let's say six i would want to find out the sum of all divisors of six excluding one and itself so if i pass in six the divisors of six are one two three and six so i would want to exclude one and six and the sum should be two plus three so for six the result should be five if i give eight as input then the divisors of eight are one two four and eight so it should return two plus four excluding one and eight so two plus four is six so that's sum of divisors the last exercise is to print a number triangle so we would want to print a number triangle let's say the input is five i would want to print a number triangle of this kind so this is a right angle triangle as you can see in here so i would want to print one one two one two three one two three four one two three four five so given five as input it should print this if four is the input then it would print this if three is the input number in here then the triangle which would be printed would be something of this kind so you can try and pause the video in here and try, try and play around with the exercises let's now start with the first exercise so let's create the class and create number dot is prime right so before that we are in a new section so let's create a new project let's create a new project control and java project i would want to create it as loops i would say finish we have a new java project in here i would need to create a new java class let's quickly create that and i would want to call this what do i want to call this we said my number so we'll call this my number runner my number runner and i would want the main method in here and click finish so we have the main method and the runner in here so what we want to do is my number is equal to new my number number is equal to new my number of nine the code would have compilation errors we'll fix them number dot is prime right so number dot is prime let's say this is, uh, let's take it into a boolean boolean is prime is equal to number dot is prime and let's do a sys out on it sys out control space and is prime i can say is prime and print this out so this is what we would want to do in this first exercise we would want to print if the number is prime so i'll hover over i'll bring the mouse over here and press control one create class my number i would use the package com oops caps lock is on let's turn it off com dot in 28 minutes dot loops and finish right that's cool uh let's now go ahead and 
now create the constructor as well again control one so i'll say create constructor my number of int and this is int number i will call this let's write the typical code that we write in all constructors this dot number is equal to number and i can now again have an error control one create field number private int number that's cool right so we have now the constructor and the number present in here okay one of the things is i do this a number of times because you can get eclipse to do a lot of things for you and you can actually start typing the number down saying private int number and have a public constructor you can type all the code yourself that's another option but i prefer getting eclipse to do all this stuff for me and that's the reason why i first think about how to use it so always it's good to think from the perspective of the consumer who is using your class how would he use it that would help you to look at it from a different perspective and that's what we are doing in here so let's go is prime i'll say create method is prime and public boolean is prime and for now it's returning false that's cool so that's the default automated automatically generated method and now this looks okay so this is compiling so let's do a right click run as java application it would print is prime is false right so that's cool but if i pass in a prime number like 2 for example what does it say is prime is false because we are hard coding written false cool so we have some work remaining to do before that i just observed that there is a small uh discrepancy in here so my number runner is in a loops package this is in com.in when it means that loops i don't really like this so i can go ahead and say package com.in 28 minutes dot loops right once i type in the package it would give me an error because the package structure which you would have in here should match the folder structure so because of that there would be an error so you can press control 1 or command 1 you can say move my runner package to package okay now eclipse does the magic and now my number runner is now in the package com in 28 in its loop you can delete the loops package right click delete okay now this is looking good this is better now what we want to do now is we would want to implement the each prime method so when is the number prime when it's not divisible by 2 to number minus 1 right so any number will be divisible by 1 and itself that's for sure we would want to check if from 2 to number minus 1 if the number is 10 from 2 to 9 i would want to check if they are divisible think about it how can i check if a number is divisible by think about it try and pause the video in here try and think how can i check if a number is divisible by 2 what options do we have is there something that we discussed earlier okay we talked about the modulus operator earlier right so 9 mod 2 would return 1 this means 9 is not divisible by 2 same thing if i actually do 9 mod 3 it leaves a reminder zero that means 9 is divisible by 3 right so let's make use of that fact in here so we would want to check if number mod 2 is equal to 0 if it's 0 then it's divisible if it's 0 then it's divisible then it's not a prime if number mod 2 is equal to 0 then return false right otherwise you can return true is this good enough solution okay this is not the perfect uh, implementation as such but this is kind of the starting point right so number mod 2 is equal to is equal to 0 that means uh, number is even it's divisible by 2 so it's false what we want to do is we would want to do similar checks with number mod 3 number mod 4 number mod 5 and so on and so forth so how do we do that for all the numbers i can put it in a for loop right so i can run the loop from for int i is equal to 2 to number minus 1 that's what we want to do we need to follow the syntax so i'll say i plus plus here i'll say i less than equal to number minus 1 in here i plus plus and we would also always want to follow the 
right formatting. Let's do this. Right click source format. Here, is this good? Be, here it should be I. So what we are doing in here is in a loop. So we are starting with 2 to number minus 1 and we are checking if number mod i is equal to is equal to 0. If number mod i is equal to is equal to 0, then the number is divisible by that number. So if number is 9, we are starting with 2. Okay. Is it divisible by 2? No. Is it divisible by 3? Yes. So then it's not a prime. Return falls back. Okay. That's cool. Right. So let's go ahead and now run this program and see if we are able to get it working properly. So my number 2, it's prime. That's cool. My number 3, cool. It's prime as well. My number 5, Mm -hmm. That's cool as well. My number 6. Is it prime? False. That's cool. So what we have in here is we have implemented our first exercise is prime. So we are able to check whether a number is prime or not. One of the things while you do programming is you'd want to handle all the possible situations. So what we'll do is, if the number passed in is negative, what we should do? We should return that it's not a prime because negative numbers cannot be prime. Zero is also considered to be not a prime and also one is neither prime nor composite. So what we'll have at the start is something called a guard check. So what we'll say is if number less than two. So if number less than two, we will return a false back because it's not a prime. So this is something which we typically write in all programs. This is called guard condition. Before we come into the method, we would want to check if the input is valid and all the basic conditions you would want to check in here so that you would return those specific things back and then we would get into the real logic. So if you return any number which is less than, if you pass in any number which is less than 2, then this would be false. In this video, we got a quick overview of the exercises and we started with the first one which was to find out if a number is prime. I'll see you in the next video where we'll be looking at a few other exercises. Until then, bye-bye. This video is part of a Java course with more than 250 steps helping you become an expert on Java. You can find the complete course details in the description of the video. Along with it, you can also find the details of a free PDF with 200 pages of awesome code examples in 28 minutes, creating great programmers.